Feels good to be here, though. This is where it actually happened. It happened two years ago. Dallas Weens was finishing up a painting job at Ridgely Baptist Church in Fort Worth when his lift drifted into power lines. He woke up three months later with his face burned off, just grateful to be alive. It's a shot at a brand new life. It's a new lease, you know? In fact, Dallas Ween says he's never been happier, and happier still since learning he's been accepted for an experimental face transplant. It's a little scary when you think about it, considering the size of the surgery. He says it's not about how he'll look. He's proud of his scars. It's about what he hopes to feel, his daughter's kiss. Because I can't feel her kisses, and I can't truly kiss her back. I just have to go and click my tongue to make it to, to simulate giving her a kiss. Surgeons tell Weens he should be able to move his new face and smell again, but not see, although he hasn't lost hope on that. Because I'm 25 years old, and 15 years ago, a face transplant was science fiction. What's going to happen in the next 15 years? I've got a lot of life left. <laughs> He's working towards a law degree to advocate for the blind. His surgery will be at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston, where doctors performed one of only two face transplants in the country. They thought I would eat a vegetable. And as time went on, they were going to realize that there's absolutely zero damage done to my brain. And I joke with the doctors and I say, I got a jump start. Dallas Weens doesn't call what happened to him an accident. He wasn't religious before, but he calls this a gift from God. I have a joy that I've never known, and yeah. it's worth it to me. It's worth it to you? Yes. Because you feel a joy you've never known? Yes. A joy to serve others. He went back and joined that church where he lost his face, turning new corners now, waiting for the call that his new face is ready. In Fort Worth, Jim Douglas, Channel 8 News.